What is going on guys, we are back with the all exciting game between Ojama and Solent round 3, losers bracket for OLT game 3. So this decides who will stay in a tournament. Ojama does bring a cool team. I assume that it's a Scarf Katana because uh, he has used uh, Specs Larios before versus ABR. I assume that's a Banta, it could be a Megatar, but Banta makes a lot of sense. He knows that Solent likes fat teams like this. As well as going to be Rock's defensive land because his team seems super weak to um, Zygarde. And yeah, someone used this team last round versus Black Oblivion, and he actually had a T with Chansey. Um, Sabella used this to ladder uh, with a Clefable instead of Mew. And Ciel also had a team like this in Auras, where it was like Rotom instead of Kartana and Clefable instead of Mew. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he won that Smog 2 with that versus Coast uh, Coast 180, if I recall correctly. So yeah, um, this is SD Earthquake Prinzer. This is SD um, Sub All Out Pummeling, at least last time it was, versus Black Oblivion. This is a Roost 3 Attack Zapdos, this is Spin Scarf Drill. Um, last game he used T Wave, Softball, Seismic Toss, Rocks, Chance, if I recall correctly. And Ice Beam Softball with Mew, but I don't remember the last move. And I also don't remember if it was Ice Beam, but it should be Ice Beam looking at his team. So yeah, here if I'm Solvent, I would always switch out into x Drill, scouting for the trick. And Excarill can also take a hit because it resists Lady Step. The only thing that would hurt Excarill uh, would be a Surf, more like a hidden power. But I don't think he's gonna go for that. I think he's just gonna go for like a Trick or like a. S if he has Psy Shock and he specs, he can go for that. But I know that he likes um, Psychic on his specs, Lady. So that's going to Mew. I'm not sure if I like that play that much. I mean, Mew getting crippled is still better than Chansey getting crippled because Chansey is important for the Volcarona in this matchup. But it's still not the best for Solvent. So he can just go for Taunt or Nature's Madness here. He just taunt on the Zapdos, so now he can go on this Cheetah here. Uh, he cannot get paralyzed because the Misty Terrain is up. And he was banging a chance, he's not sure what Solon predicted there. But if this is Banter, um, Solon is in a bad spot here. He doesn't have a Dark Resist at all. He might go into Mew anticipating a Super Power. But I don't think Ojama has a reason to click Super Power. Because if he clicks Crunch, um, it does around half. It does, probably does a little bit less than half. But the chance he also takes Sandstorm damage. Softball has less PP than Crunch. And there's also a chance of getting a, fist def uh, a defensive drop with Crunch. And the only other play that Solent would have is going hard into Katana. That can also take a hit. But can Kat Katana can put some pressure on Ojama's team with SD if the um, Volcarona gets weakened. Uh, Katana can put in a lot of work for Solent. So I don't think he's going to go hard into it. Um, so I think he's just gonna go for softball to scout what Tita locks itself into, or he's gonna go into Mew and predict the superpower slash sack it off. But yeah, like I said, he does not lose anything from clicking Crunch. This is pretty free for Ojama. I'm pretty sure Ojama already clicked this move. It's just Solon thi who's thinking about this play. Um, so yeah, looking at this, potential win cons for Solon are um, Katana and Pinsir. Pinsir can win if it gets up a SD later on and weakens the Lottie a bit. So he does decide to go on a Mew, I think he anticipated Superpower slash he was willing to sack it off. The Mew just goes down there. Joe makes the correct play, Crunch was completely free like I said. So now he's gonna go to Kartana here, or... Yeah, yeah, he's gonna go Kartana. This Pinsir is EQ, it doesn't have CC. Um, you usually see... CC and Pinsir is kind, kind of rare, but sometimes you see it because it does more damage to Celestila. But yeah, this team has a Zapdos, and it also has Mew and Chansey, and it, like these three months can like easily deal with Celestila. Look, even if Zapdos goes down, he can still switch between those mons and PP stall these sheet and swim softballed. So like he shouldn't be close combat, he should definitely be off quick on this team. Um, which means he cannot Oko Tita and he should go into Kartana here. And then he can go for SD, the Tita is forced out and the Jama is probably gonna go to Lando to intimidate the Kartana or he's gonna go to Volcarona. And Yeah, like Ojama's team's quite weak to pins, they're not gonna lie. Pinsir doesn't do SD on that much though, to be honest. Pinsir potentially SDs on a defensive land though, and then he just needs some pride damage on this. And some pride damage on his Kartana. And yeah, uh, actually he doesn't really need some pride damage on Kartana, he just has to stay out of range from Smart Strike. And out outside of range from Sandstorm from Tita with his Pinsir. So Ojama um, should try to get up the rocks for the Pinsir since that is definitely a big threat. So there's the Katana, I assume the SD is gonna come out here, he goes hard on the land to get the Intimidate. I mean, Ojama kinda needs Rocks up, but there's a plus one Katana in front of him, so I don't know if this is the right turn to go for Rocks, when there's a big threat in front of you. Just goes for Leaf Blade, does around half, there's the Rocks, Ojama's like, let me get him up real quick, get some lefties. 
Um, so he can go and walk around here and try to fish for a burn, or he can hope that he gets a, that he lives a hit and that he gets the U-turn, slow U-turn into Volk, but I assume he's gonna keep his land around because uh, Sowind is obviously gonna try to rapid spin the rocks away later, so Ojama's gonna try to keep his rocker alive because this can always come in on the Excadrill later when the Excadrill spins, and then he can just set rocks up back again. So he goes on the Volcarona, fishes for the burn, and he does get the burn, that sucks a lot for Sowind, oh my god. Sowind got crit last game, now he gets burned. Um, he got a little bit of hacks in his favor in game one, but still this sucks a lot, really frustrating. Um, Ojama all, like is playing well and he also, I feel like he prepped well, but besides the pincer, the pincer looks like a really big threat. Like, uh, you can see that he prepped for something fat with the banter. And we don't know the complete lander set, maybe the lander also has some hidden tech, we shall see that. Um, and yeah, he, not only that, he, not only banter, he also has trick on Lari, which is nice versus fat, like, versus like fat balance or semi stalls or however you want to call this team. So yeah, this burn sucks a lot, he's forcing the chancy here. Ojama doubles into Lando and oh wow! I mean he wasn't forced into Chansey, but I thought he would have gone into Chansey there. So Ojama gets over another Intimidate. Um, like if if he didn't burn the Kartana there, I think um, all of Pummeling would have killed the Volcarona for sure. Uh, Oja you can say Ojama still could have gone to Lando and the other Pummeling, but still, um, the burn definitely sucked. I'm not sure why he went for Leaf Blade there. I think he anticipated a double switch from Ojama into Tyranitar, expecting um, the the Chansey to come out. I think he kind of banked on uh, he printed Ojama to double. That's why he Leaf Bladed again, because you were burned and you like Volcarona wasn't dying to Leaf Blade. Maybe he was willing to sack this, but I think he predicted Ojama to double. So Sacred Sword obviously kills. This is Scarf Katana. Um, I'm not sure if it would have killed from full, but after the prior um, burn damage, it obviously killed. So Solvent is probably um, forced to go into his Zapdos here. He can also go to Pinsir, but he probably wants to spin before he goes into Pinsir. Like I said, Pinsir can win the game, so he doesn't want to just throw it in and take rocks. So he's going to go Zapdos here. The Zapdos doesn't have rocks unless unless he changed the team. It doesn't have Defog. Obviously, it doesn't have rocks. I meant to say Defog. <laughs> My bad. So he can go to Zapdos here and fire off a Discharge. Um, try to get a Para on the Ladi or on the Titar. He can also go to Zapdos and then double into Excadrill. Um, that covers the Ladi and the Tita, and then he can get off the Rapid Spin. But even gets a, even if he gets off the Rapid Spin, the Lando's still alive, so the Lando will just come out on the Rapid Spin and set the rock back, set the rocks back up. So it's kind of tough for Solvent. He can win with Pinsir, but he he has to get up an SD, and you don't really SD for free on that many months. Like now you could SD because the Katana is locked into Sacred Sword, but the Ladi from uh, Jama is still too healthy. Like it doesn't die to plus two Quick Attack at the moment. He needs more chip on the Ladi. Otherwise, uh, if the Ladi was chipped a bit, he could go for game. He would pin. So he also needs SD to kill the um, the Tita, but he also doesn't set up on the Tita, so it's just hard to find the correct setup opportunity. So he's either gonna discharge fish for the para or double into drill to get up with the rapid spin. Um, there's no point for Ojama to stay in because his Tita is super valuable for him. Puts pressure on a chance, he puts pressure on a Zapdos. And le doesn't let up, doesn't let Pinsir set up if it's in versus Pinsir. Um, so you always, um, if you're Ojama here, you always go into Landris. You don't, you never risk your Tita on a potential Earthquake or Iron Head flinch. So Ojama, uh, someone is probably gonna spin here. He has to like somehow like hope that he can somehow win with his pincer. But I feel like this game is pretty much in Ojama's control. Uh, leaf blade burn uh, not leaf blade, flame body burn on the leaf blade obviously sucked. But yeah, if Ojama plays it well, he should have this game. And I don't think Ojama is the type of guy to choke a game away. Like like he's already in a good position. Uh, he's really experienced, as the smoke to chat would say, veteran. <laughs> So yeah, he makes his best play in my opinion, which is just going Landris on the spin. And now he can just set the rocks back up. He also heals a bit more with lefties than the spin did, so that absolutely that's at zero. So he goes Chansey. Um, Ojama's gonna go Kartana here. Oh, he has knockoff. Ooh, that's fire. So you guys can see, not only does he have Banton, Trick on Lottie, he also has knockoff from Lando. So he really anticipated some sort of fat team or like balance from Solvent. Because uh, knockoff is always nice, whereas like fatter teams do knockoff leftovers. I mean, it's especially nice versus stall, but also versus balance is nice. Um, yeah. 
Um, this Landos is still nice. Um, what you call it? But Sowen's chance he, like would take a lot from Earthquake at this point. I assume Sowen is gonna go on the Zapdos here. I mean, he can try to soft ball, but it's is it really worth it? Like, for Earthquake is gonna hurt. Like Ojama can either go for Earthquake here, or he can even double into Tita, anticipating the Zapdos to come out. Uh, but he doesn't have to make that play. Double into Tita is a bit unnecessary. He makes a double into Tita. Did, did he get a Zapdos? Oh my god, calm down, Ojama. Oh boy. So I think Zoland uh, has to, like. Okay, okay, okay. He, he goes back into drill. This is just gonna die. I thought he was gonna go for a discharge para at this point because the drill just dies. He doesn't get to rapid spin. Uh, oh, I guess he was uh, predicting, uh, hoping that Ojama would go for Stone Edge there. But now he doesn't have any play. Like, I think he should have just stayed and gone for the para, because at this point, Pinsir doesn't win yet, because it has to SD, um, and Laddie is not in range even if he SDs, and Pinsir cannot SD on this. Chansey gets blown away, lost his Avalite, and now he has to go back into Zapdos, so he just lost his drill. I mean, he, I guess he just banked on the choke that Ojama went for edge on the drill there. I mean, even if he went for edge, it wouldn't have been over for Ojama, but it would have been a potentially a bad play. So Pinsir's gonna have to go for Earthquake here. And Ojama can go into his Ladi or Katana, I think Ladi. I think he's gonna go Ladi and click Psychic, um, since he, he always showed that he specs. Like I said, he used that versus ABR specs Ladi and he likes to run uh, Psychic on that. And since the chance he lost the Evilet, even if the chance he comes out on the Psychic, it will still take a good chunk, it will be forced to heal. Um, the, yes, the Benta is dead now, but the chance he got knocked off, so the chance isn't a problem at all. And if Chansey ever comes out, it kind of gives Kartana a free switch, unless the Chansey has T-Wave. And then Jama, uh, Solon still would have to bank on Hex. And he could also go into Fini before he goes, or into Lando, if he was fearing, if Ojama would fear T-Wave. I'm actually kind of surprised that Pinsel lived that Psychic. Because it doesn't have the best Spadev. But yeah, now he goes into Scarf Kartana, he clicks Sacred Sword twice and he wins. He can even click Smart Strike, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. But uh, I think Second Sword is 4 times resisted by Pinsir, but since it's at 8%, it should definitely kill. Katana has like a super high attack set, I think it's 181 or something like that. I always forget, but it's a super high attack set. Yeah, Chansey obviously dies. Ujama played really well, I feel. But there was some hacks, which obviously sucked. But I think Ujama... <laughs> it's hard to say. I think it would have won uh, nonetheless, but... Whew. This was a cool series overall. I wasn't the biggest fan of Game 3, but I liked Game 1 and Game... I wasn't the biggest fan of game 2 is what I meant to say. I like game 1 and game 3 quite a lot. And yeah, this uh, the series is over. Uh, congrats to Ojama for moving on. He's now in round 4, ulti loses bracket. Um, the next week I think the winner's bracket for round 3 is going to be playing. So yeah, I'm going to cover those games. And yeah, there's some ulti games later that I will unfortunately probably miss because I'm really tired and I also have something to do. But yeah, I'll have some snake content for you guys and stay tuned for more videos in general hope you have a fantastic day smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed and yeah dokuch signing out i don't know why i always have to mess up my outros but yeah good peace out guys <laughs>